Hi, this is Elk, and welcome back to my channel. Well, as you may know, the new Jason Everdeen song came out, Try This in a Small Town, and already people are exaggerating what is really in the song. They say this is a modern lynching song. What? No, I listened to. I listened to the song. I saw the video. I did not see anything indicating this is a pro lynching song. I saw the video. I didn't see a Confederate flag anywhere. It was an American flag. I think the reason why they came up with this story is because that capital where he was filming, they did have a lynching there back in 1927 of a black man. But reality is he was complaining about all the stuff that was happening from 2020 to now. Um, now you're going to be saying, oh, that the reason why they were saying all that is because they're attacking, they claim they're attacking black people. I'm sorry, but if you were in New York City or near New York City like I was in 2020, I could tell you a good portion of these people that were involved in these riots in New York City and looting were white people. Because I seen the videos. In fact, I'm sure it was white people that was involved in setting up those tire those fires on the with those tires in Foreign Road in the Bronx. So not African Americans. There are everybody who was involved in this stuff was no African American or black. There were white people involved. You had, for example, the lawyers that were busted for destroying a police car. They were white. I mean, and look, the incident in uh, Kenosha, Wisconsin, they claimed first that the people that were killed were African American, and it turns out to be not true. They were white people. They were exaggerating. You know what? In fact, I'm going to support Jason in the best way I know how. Let's put on our country hats. Country uh, cowboy hats on for a few minutes now. Now, I do like country music. Don't get me wrong. I stopped listening to it a while ago because uh, uh, when they were attacking the Dixie Chicks. You know, so the community were against them because of the Iraq war. Well, we know now that some things were not exactly as they seem. Just like some people exaggerate what was happening in this video of Jason. So, and another thing. The only thing that brought me back to country music was Taylor Swift. So. And one of the first people I followed after Taylor Swift was Jason. He makes great music. He had a great. He had. He was married at one time. Fortunately, divorced. Good friends with Kelly Clarkson, and please don't turn on her because whatever you claim that's on the video doesn't exist. Let me tell you something. There's some of the things in there, I can understand why people are upset. First of all, the, the, the uh, knockout game. People punching people, trying to knock them out in the street for no apparent reason. That's not justified. No matter what race you are in, you have no right to be going up to somebody and smack them in the face for no damn good reason, trying to knock them out, either to rob them or just to be machismo, or whatever it is. That is ridiculous. Carjackings are, is getting worse. Um, he did say a point that this grandmother was at a at a light and they carjacked her. How is that lynching? I don't get that. 
because I don't see any evidence of lynching in here. I don't see any ropes around the tree or whatever else they use for lynching. All they did was complain about the protests, the violence, the crime, and, and to be honest with you, when we're complaining about what was happening in 2020 to now, we're not really complaining about black people. We're really complaining about the soft on crime crowd. The politicians, the district attorneys, the judges that didn't want to do their damn job. Like the George Soros DAs. A lot of them didn't are soft on crime. They don't want to fight crime. In fact, some of these DAs would rather go after Donald J. Trump than fight crime. But the other DAs don't have a Donald J. Trump case on their uh, calendar. What is your excuse? Because you don't have one. Recently, you got Anamina County, Oakland, that DA, brand new, doing what the other George Soros DAs are doing. By the way, his son is now wanting to do the same garbage. So, these folks do not care about black people. These folks don't care about anybody but themselves. They rather let the crime get out of control in these big cities. George, I mean, not George. George Soros does not care. Jason's song is saying that some small towns will not put up with stuff like this. And I'll give you a prime example. Teaneck, New Jersey, where I am right now, we didn't have any of these big um, Black Lives Matter protests. The protests that we did had, and I seen it, and I did record some of this stuff, you had less than 20 people. You were lucky on some days you could get 10. And it wasn't that often. You know, at least we didn't have to spend a lot of police overtime. In fact, one one teenager was given a bill by, by the by Bergen County for uh, for one of these protests. Uh, they squashed it, but the point is, when he said about the small town wouldn't put up with some of this stuff, in some places they don't. Some maybe, some don't. I mean, I'm in New Jersey, but the fact is. We didn't have any of the, re any of the crazy stuff that was happening in New York City, or Philadelphia, really happening in New Jersey. Maybe the exception Atlantic City, but it never made the, the news like, like those two two major cities did, on either side in New Jersey. I I don't see anything wrong with the with the song or the video. I think country music television is ridiculous for doing that. Could you imagine if Taylor Swift had a song, they didn't like it, they did that to her, and they took it down? You know what would happen? Country music television will be getting hell like crazy from every Taylor Swift fan around the globe. The thing is, I think if uh, country music television already started that video, uh, Jason... Maybe we should boycott uh, country music television, making the new Bud Light. And they say, oh my God, no, you can't say that. Well, you're exaggerating the truth. And the truth, you're exaggerating because you're trying to fit a narrative and not the reality. Then why should we put up with it? We put up with nonsense for three years you see how the country's going down the toilet. You ain't got a president who right now doesn't know which way is up. In fact, they find cocaine in the White House. They can't find out who whose cocaine it is. They can't even find the guy who tried to bomb the National Democrat National Committee headquarters and the Republican National Committee headquarters uh, on, on the early morning of January 6th. But they find all these other people, but you can't find these two jokers you know it don't make no sense it really don't 
I, I'm sorry this video is long, but the fact is, you should, you should um, go to YouTube, look for the the uh, Jason uh, song, Try It In A Small Town, the lyrics video, and check it word for word. When you realize there is no lynching or any threat to black people on that video, then you're going to realize that you're being duped by the mainstream media and everybody else. You should stop listening to these folks. I had to stop listening. I'm a liberal Democrat. I, I had to stop listening to them because, quite frankly, they're ridiculous.